afternoon, this is Gary from Mazda Engineering. What we have here today, we're gonna to show you, we have a, a, a water manifold that connects to a JV6 engine, which allows you to put the engine front to rear in a car, which we're gonna use for the conversion on the Miata, but you can use it for any car at all if you're gonna have it front to rear. And this allows you to put the, uh, the engine in the car with the right air in the front and the hose is connecting to the front of the engine. We have here the water manifold that connects to the back of the block and goes forward underneath the intake manifold, the supply and the return to the radiator. We have also sensors here. These holes are for sensors for the both for the computer and for, uh, for the water temperature. And we also have one for the Mazda Miata, which you can put your regular, that allows you to use your gauge in your car for it. And we insulate it, all of them, so you don't have any heat coming up into the intake manifold. So we have, these are the tools we'll need. We're gonna use the Mazir inline thermostat. At the end of it, you'll see at the end what we're doing. Use a regular Chevy thermostat. There's a regular Chevy thermostat. The gasket comes with it. The thermostat doesn't come with it. You allows you to put whatever degree you want in there. Now, we've drilled a hole in here in the top. Now, we want, you want to put this hole in the top. You want to configure it so it's the, at the top of the, you know, of the hose coming out in order to vent, because you'll have air going through there and it'll come and vent it that way. If you put it on the bottom, it won't vent properly. Now, what you want to do also is put some never seize on these threads in case you have to take it apart and change the thermostat for some reason. So make sure when you put it together, I just put a mark here where the top would be. Just mark it some fashion or so that you know where it is. So the hole's up on top here and that will be doing at the end. And this is the and this is the thermostat housing. Mazir is the therm is the manufacturer of it. it's an inch and a quarter which coincides with the hoses on the Mazda Miata. All right, now we're gonna go forward and we're going to put this manifold, water manifold on the engine. It also saves on the back of the engine to the firewall, the one that Honda has because they have a whole configuration with the EGR valve, six and a half inches. We have three and a quarter inches and we save three inches on that. So that will save a lot in the back. Also, we have connections be a heater. Right now we're going to put the gaskets on. Just put them over the studs. Some some parts have studs, some of them don't. So let's put it on the right way now. Okay. Now, also, the EGR valve here, we're going to supply you with a plug. A threaded plug that goes into the EGR. That way you're not going to have any exhaust gases blowing into the back of the aluminum manifold. We're just going to use this. Just, just tighten it down. Take care of that. Now the next thing we want to do, we're going to put this this manifold on. Before we get before we can go, go any further, I want to want you to take note that behind these manifolds is casting. You want to flush these castings here because they stick out a little bit too far, and that'll be a problem when you're putting this manifold in because the tubing is pretty close to it. It'll be a little, a little bit difficult. Also. When you're putting this in, the studs are made straight. So when you, you have to put them in straight and it's really difficult. So what I do is I take a drill because I want to get it so I have access to get into it on an angle. So what we do is get a drill, run it, and then put it on an angle this way, press up on it toward the, toward the fuel rail. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt anything as far as bolting it up, but it does make a big difference on 
how you put it in, and you'll see that in a little while. So now we're, we're going to start. There's an O ring goes on here. This is an O ring goes on here. Put a new O ring on here. This is going into the water pump. Bring this down from the top. You got to go forward into it. Now, also, there's a screw that goes on here, which I'm going to put on here now to hold this in place. This will stop. This will stop it from blowing out. This this actually prevents prevents the the piping from blowing out of the intake manifold of the not the intake manifold but the water pump. A little tricky to get this in because it's tight. You tighten that up. Now, as you can see already, this is going to just toward the radiator, and then we have. Now we're going back here, this is going to be access to your heater core. And also there's enough room over here for your knock sensor. We made, it, we made an allowance for that. Now we're going to put the, the supply one in. We have nuts and studs that could, and bolts that come in here. A couple of bolts on this one. And there's a couple studs are in there already. It's really an easy operation. And as I said before, we insulate it in here. Okay, look at my. Okay. Let me see. Well, we have a 12 millimeter wrench, so we're all right. I'm good. Oh, wait, maybe it's on a. Is it on a. Here it is. I'm looking for something over here. It's on a torque wrench. Okay, we're good.
Now you're gonna you're gonna soft these down to 200 inch pounds or 16 foot pounds. I'm just gonna show you what has to be done. So you'll talk them down to the correct specifications. And now you can see you have access here to your sensors for your computer. And this is also for your temperature gauge inside the car. Now, this is where, where I told you that you have to go in on an angle. You see, now with see now you're in 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 tight where it has to be. But unless you drill those holes on a slight angle, it really makes it hard because they're meant to come in straight. So this is. Donald, maybe come over here so we can show them come on this side and then we can show them about the thermostat and how we're going to put it on. We have here, this is, this comes on here and then an inline. Okay, now we get the Okay, now we'll get. You didn't remind me. Has to go up on top, Donald. For venting. <laughs> Donald's my video man. He's fantastic. He's right on top of it. Very close. Hello. Donald Collier. He's the man. So that's it.